Hi, Arnie. Were you prescribed antibiotics? Don't be scared, but they always do have a bunch of side effects. Hang in there. It'll pass. Don't do that, Arnold. Bacteria can adapt to antibiotics and develop immunity to them. That's how resistant bacteria emerge. Resistant bacteria kill about 700,000 people every year. The good news is that when bacteria compete with each other, they produce substances toxic to one another. So while scientists are creating new antibiotics, we can try to pit bacteria against each other. You'd have been better off recycling the antibiotics. It's in trash bins where a huge number of bacteria accumulate, which can come into contact with various antibiotics and create a Superbug. Well, your immunity is already weakened by your illness. And now this too. Antibiotics are designed for known bacteria. If new ones emerge, our antibiotics will be powerless. Recently, scientists discovered almost a thousand bacteria in the glaciers of Tibet, almost all of them unknown to science. It almost sounds like the beginning of a horror story, especially in the case of global warming. Superbugs are not easily treated, Arnie. It takes a lot of time to create a new antibiotic. Seriously, Arnie, you're planning to search for a superbug using ChatGPT. By the year 2050, someone will die every three seconds from diseases caused by superbugs. But in May 2023, a bowson was created, a new antibiotic against one of the three most dangerous superbugs. Scientists were assisted by AI in this discovery. Arnold, in your condition, you should be in bed, not conducting experiments. You even kind of look like a bacterium right now. Buddy, I really wouldn't risk it with that unknown solution if I were you. But then again, you've got nothing to lose. Wow, you got lucky. I don't even know how that's possible. Fools and beginners always get lucky, and in this case, you're both. You feeling bad again, are you? I told you there'd be side effects. The main thing is not to create a new superbug. No! Arnold, come on.